started in the garment business, making aprons. Very small little business. Medline CEO Charlie Mills walks WGN down memory lane. His great-grandfather sold these aprons to butcher shops back in 1910. A humble business that grew into hearty health care sales for generations to come. In 2020, 550,000 products in all. Last January, everything changed when Medline sales began skyrocketing. You know, at first, some of that demand was for U.S. hospitals, it was for Asia, it was, uh, and then it started hitting in Italy. When it came time to get products to the United States from overseas, the process was tough and costly. It, it was difficult. I mean, we had to spend more money. We were air freighting products uh, from late January. Uh, we were doing a lot of things to uh, get the inventory that our customers were demanding. Uh, it was hard. 26,000 employees worldwide doing business in 90 countries, 45 distribution centers with 15 manufacturing facilities, keeping up during a pandemic. It was challenging, even for Medline. I think the shortages that happened were due to demand literally going up tenfold. Masks were not Medline's bread and butter, but the medical supply leader quickly answered the call as N95 masks disappeared in the marketplace. As a result, they are now making them in the United States. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. And Last March, Mills and his counterparts in the industry went to the White House to allay fears about PPE shortages for frontline workers and the American public. Uh, we are involved in reprocessing masks and we've already started at about 100,000 masks per day. Meanwhile, back at Medline headquarters in Northfield, a building that normally welcomes some 1,800 employees daily, it was allowing only 100 people inside each day. Even Medline's workers were sent home during the pandemic. But not the factories or warehouses, essential in every way. Hey, Tom. So this summer, to show some gratitude during the pandemic, Charlie Mills went door to door to deliver awards to workers as his late father had done for the past 20 years. We're giving you an award for all the great work you do. Charlie handed out 12 awards in three days to the best of the best at Medline. And some of them were really surprised and like almost speechless. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. From Kenosha to Chicago and some stops in between, between, the CEO surprising each and every one of them. Somebody wasn't home and uh, she was unbelievably shocked, but you can kind of see it on her, on actually her boss's cell phone. <laughs> I put the award on her doorstep. <laughs> sure, we'll just leave it right there, it'll be fine. And earlier in the summer, a care package for all employees filled with pandemic important supplies from Medline's factories to the employees' front doors. Perhaps another reason Medline has made Chicago Tribune's list of top workplaces in the past 10 of 11 years. We're very fortunate. We've had uh, most of our earnings retained. We, we have almost no cash, but almost no debt. You know, we try to run the business without borrowing money. That's put us in a very strong position and we, things go up or down, we'll, we'll be okay. New products from Medline since the virus first surfaced, COVID-19 testing kits. They are selling millions of bottles of hand sanitizer and gel packs every month. And the company is selling more gloves, reprocessed face masks and gowns than ever before. This billion dollar business still 100% family owned right here outside of Chicago. Mm.